great people or uh good good night i don't know where's that i don't know where that threshold is it's 3 40 in the morning uh, i went to bed pretty early last night to get up this early this morning heading out to do just a crazy father's day fishing mission don't really have a target species other than a whole bunch of fish so we're gonna be sending it on the York River today um, going after black drum red drum speckled trout flounder whatever really wants to bite either a peeler crab a live minnow or a gulp so come along this is gonna be a fun one fishing all over the place uh, trying a lot of different things got like five rods in the boat going solo and uh, just getting out there and having a good time trying to catch a uh, 6.30 a.m. high tide. Quick tip for your peeler crabs, if you're not using them immediately, wet down a paper towel. Get that thing all right. Lay it down on top of the crabs. They're not gonna pinch you because they're dormant, so. Just get it right on top of them so they're nice and wet. And that will save your crabs overnight. Looks like another fisherman made it out before me. A big old Johnny Heron, man. Johnny Crane. Mm, Seahawk, I love you. Man, wait till you see the size of the minnows in this minnow trap. Holy Jesus. Look at the size of those minnows. This is going to be money. I can already tell you guys, this is going to catch some fish today. 410, we're on the water. Let's see what we can make happen today. All right, well, we're out here. We made it on the water. Just in time for a beautiful sunrise. We're just gonna work these shorelines today. And uh, we got peeler crabs and minnows. We're just gonna, uh, it's so calm out here. We're just gonna look for any sort of disturbance and try to fish it and just see, see what happens. You never know what you're gonna catch. All right, guys, I found bait busting on the shoreline over here. And that means drum kicking around. Thought it might have been trout, but it's not. But I'm just as happy with some drum. We're pulling out the tagging gun. Got my first fish already. That's a little drum. And they're still blowing up right there on the shoreline, so we're gonna try to get on enough. There you go, guys. First drum of the day. Early bite. Again. Again. See this one. This one's really a little bigger. This one might be a decent little keeper. We're in here feeding on mullet. Oh man, that's beautiful. is a 20 he's going in the box if your minnow's not looking lively change them out
Man, the fishing's so fast, I can't even tape it. Can't even tape. See him in here rolling. There's a bunch of fish in here, guys. I'm gonna ditch the peeler crab, put on another minnow. This is tough fishing, guys. I got a nice fish hooked up. Play them out in case it's a big trout. The mosquitoes, the gnats are off the chain, but it's all worth it. It's all worth it, guys. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. Pretty little drum. Pretty little drum. All right, drum number four. Sun's barely peaking. This guy looks like he's gonna be another tag and release. He's probably right at 18. We'll check him out and see. Let's see. Let's see, right in the corner of the mouth again, which is right where you want them. We got 18 and a half. All right, tagging gun. Get it right up in there in a scale. Let's tag out. Back in the drink. Number four. Oh man. So I am just sitting here watching these fish just roll onto this flat. They're in about one foot to two feet of water tops. And uh, it's not taking long. Got two corks out with live minnows on both. Since they're feeding on fish, that's what I'm fishing with. I got some peeler crabs with me, but today is a minnow day. Apparently. We're gonna cast right back in there. Do it again. I'm trying to juggle two rods here. I have a feeling before too long I'm gonna get crossed up. But I'm gonna keep doing it until I do. Because there is a not a fish back there. Trolling motor is making it easy, guys. Too easy. Just sitting right here on this school of fish. I try to tape this. I don't know if you can see it. You can see fish just popping everywhere. All up in here. And there were some big splashes when I first started casting at it. But you can see trout and drum just popping on the surface right here. I haven't caught a trout yet, but I lost one. I think that one was the trout. We're gonna keep fishing for him. Mr. Trouty Trout. Caught a school of them waking. I was just putting along with the trolling motor, saw a bunch of wake. Another 19 inch puppy drum. There you go. It's gonna be number two in the box. These are the kind of conditions you want out here. You can really see these fish just cruising, waking. Usually it's pretty decent sized schools of them. I'm guessing there's probably 10 or 15 or more in every school. And uh, once you spot them, you put a piece of peeler crab in the middle of them and it's game over. I don't know if you can see that or not, but 
I'm just trolling along in about 24 inches of water. And that forces these fish to be visible when they're this shallow. They can't help it. They swing that tail one time and put a swirl off and game over. It would not be a day on the water if we did not pick up someone's balloon that they decided to just let sail. So we're gonna snag this guy up real quick. Can't go anywhere without finding one of these guys. There you go. Yay! All right, guys. Well, that is a wrap for the day. Sorry, I saw something waking. Uh, that's a wrap for the day. Heading back in, pick family up. We're probably going to go clamming, so I might shoot some video on that as well, but that'll be something different. But all in all, great morning fishing. Caught a bunch of drum. Got a tag and a few fish and uh, just had a beautiful Father's Day morning. You couldn't ask for a better Father's Day. So heading in to get the family now and continue the celebration. Y'all have a great day. Hit that subscribe button and come back for the next one.